Check about Trey's Master of None. YouTube, I'll bring you a video. I found a little uh, problem here uh, with this 134. I mean, it's 1234 uh, YF. You can see the name here. And this is the same thing right here. And this can is what you would buy from the auto parts store. I use this in one of my videos, and I also use this in one of my videos too as well. And this product, this, this product right here, I ordered it off of Amazon, and it came in a box just like this. And it's, it's the proper uh, type, it's the same number as you can see, proper type from Amazon. And it was like 35 bucks. But the reason I'm shooting this video, I wouldn't recommend that you go on Amazon and buy this. Uh, because <clears throat> this product, this product is, is, you know, obviously it's opposite the 134 or 134A, which most cars, or most manufacturers recommend, you know. Uh, so this particular hose came with this bottle from Amazon, this hose. And it looks like a regular hose, but this fitting right here is gonna, only going to fit that Jeep. I don't know what other kinds of cars it fit, but it fits that Jeep where you where the intake is, where the Freon goes in at. It fits that Jeep. It won't fit the other hose, the other line, but it'll fit that Jeep on that one line. And uh, I didn't try it on any other vehicle. It could work on some other vehicle, but I didn't try it. But this, this valve... Is the same as this one right here. Of course, this is the one I bought right here. And it works much better than this one. But the thing I wanted to show in this video is that both of these cans look identical. They look identical. But this can right here, when you put it on this hole, watch this way I spin it, it goes to the right. It's a right hand connection. Just like a regular can on this hose. This is the right hand connection right here. But these hoses are left hand. These hoses are left hand connection. So you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this because you won't you won't have the same problem because um, I sent my daughter to the auto parts store to buy one can. These cans are forty in with for forty four dollars to sixty dollars for one can at the auto parts store. And this right here, and this one can is 80, almost 100 bucks. It's one can. I guess you see the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want you to waste any money like I did. But anyway, this can is right hand, right hand. And if I unscrew this one and try to put this one on there, it won't screw on. This is the left hand thread can and only go left hand see how crooked it, it won't fit it won't fit you can you can try all kinds of ways from monday to monday to sunday and try twice on sunday twice on saturday try to make this thing go it won't go on straight it's crooked and if you put it on there and try to put this free on in it in your car like this you're gonna it's gonna leak out right here it won't fit so this can this this valve it only fits for this one that you get from amazon and it's no good for nothing else It'll work on 134, 134, but it's not gonna work on another can of 123. So it's bogus. I don't know how they did it, but they made the can, and it, actually the can felt like it wasn't even full when I bought it. It was kind of like this can right here felt like a regular can, but this one right here it was like you almost it was almost felt like it was almost empty. So it's thirty five dollars down the drain right here. So if you're gonna use this 123, it's gonna be it's gonna I know they probably use it on some other cars, but it's used on Jeeps. It's supposed to be more envi environmentally uh made or something like that. To me, it's almost like the same thing. It's just if you know you change some seals in your system and uh, you know a few valves in there, and if you do that, you can probably convert it back to 134. But this stuff right here, I just found out about it. I saw another video. I would name the video, but I don't remember the guy's name. He mentioned it. In this video, I'm gonna go back and find it.
give him his, his proper props. But this can, you see, you see this right here is his left hand. This is the left hand threaded device. You put it on, you're going back the other way, the opposite way. You see? The opposite way it'll fit. It'll work. This one, one time use only. It, you know, it don't tell you all of that right hand. Then it's no good for nothing else because you buy another can, it won't fit this valve. This is a right hand valve. They don't say it on here, but it's a right hand valve. It should be left hand. But these cans, I don't know. I can use this for a regular, regular Freon, I guess. But, you know, hey, it's a short video. I hope that uh, this video helps someone who's trying to, you know, add Freon uh, to their vehicle. I like this one. I endorse this one because it lets out. This one lets out the, 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 the pressure that's in your, in your system. Before you put the can on there, before you crank the car, you can let the pressure out. And get it down low enough. Past that green line right there, right there, green line. And then when you crank the car up and put it on max, turn your accolades on, and put this can on it and hit it, it's in there. And it's blowing cold. So anyway, I hope that will help someone. Um, you may not be like, like, like what I did, but maybe it'll help someone not spend some money with Amazon. Yeah. You get this, and you're only going to get one use out of it. Thirty-five dollars. Anyway, uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, man, like and subscribe. If you got any comments? Please leave the comments uh, back down in the uh, description, and try to get back with you. All right. Have a great day, Jack of all trades. Signing off, Ken Folk.